Hi there. In this video, we're talking about the second email people are going to receive from you right after they get the welcome email. So essentially, they've signed up on your landing page, they received a welcome email with their template or guide, and now we're sending them the second email. And in the second email, we're actually starting to talk about that course or product that you're selling. Now, I really advise sending this email pretty soon after the welcome email. So within 24 hours or 48 hours tops. Don't wait too long because you don't want people to forget you. You want people to still be excited about that value that you're offering. And it's imperative to send it pretty close to the first email. Now, let's take a look at this email and start talking about all of its elements and how you can edit the template that I've created for you to, for your actual product. Okay, so within get response, you're going to want to name that email. So I've called it email number two, introducing the course. And you want to put in the subject line. The subject line that I put in here is how to take your landing page to the next level. I'm essentially creating interest. And I want to tell people that within this email, there is something that they desire, something that they're interested in. So this is my template for it. How to take your landing page to the next level. Now within this email, I'm going to create attention, I'm going to create interest, I'm going to create desire, and I'm going to ask them to take an action. So I'm going to read through this email and then I'm going to explain every step of it. Do you know the difference between average landing pages that kind of do the job and the top performers? It's not just the copy or the design or the underlying tech. Top performing pages rely on one key ingredient. They show you what you need to see to convert whatever that happens to be. So I'm gonna stop now, and you'll notice that this first section of the email is all about creating this attention, creating this desire for creating these beautiful landing pages that convert top performing landing pages. I talk about the fact that it's not copy, it's not design, it's not tech, it's one key ingredient. So when someone opens this email, they're going to be hooked into reading more, into finding out what that key ingredient is and how they can create a top performing landing page. Moving on. How do they do that? They do it with research. Before creating a landing page, conversion focused marketers get to know everything about their visitor. They delve into their drives, their fears, their needs. They dig past the obvious and they get to know the specific reasons that person wants your product, service or offer. And then they put those insights on the page. So I talk about people that actually know how to create landing pages, they do this. And this again is creating this attention and desire to want to know how to do this themselves. And then I dive into a personal story. Now guys, this is an email that I've actually sent out to people to sell my course. So in this template, I've also included my personal story. When I first started optimizing landing pages, I wasn't familiar with this level of customer research. So like a lot of others, when a page wasn't working, I tested elements like changing the color of a button, reducing form fields, reducing the length of copy because people don't read. But arbitrary changes like these won't get you the consistent results that you want. To get those, you need to get into the heads and hearts of your customers by running customer interviews, conducting surveys, analyzing the competition, and more. So I talk about my own personal story, and I do this because many people make the same mistakes. But instead of telling them, hey, you're probably making these mistakes, I talk about myself and how I used to make these mistakes, but now I no longer do this. So it makes people feel connected, and they know that I've done this before, and they might be making these mistakes, so I'm really kind of connecting with people and telling them what the right way is. The right way is doing all the research. Now, this research is the foundation of proper landing page optimization. That's why it's the first module of my new course, How to Create Landing Pages That Sell. So this is where I introduce the course, and I immediately dive in to what they're going to learn. Research your visitors and customers so that you know exactly what kind of landing pages to create. Use that research to shape your landing page, add the right conversion elements um, to up the persuasion, design a winning landing page from scratch, and optimize your landing page. So I frame everything they're going to learn. I don't dive into the exact um, curriculum and what they're going to do, just the topics. And then 
the promise of what this course can help them do. So it will help them consistently create landing pages that sell, even if you are a beginning, beginner or you don't have a lot of traffic. Plus, I share real life examples with specific information on the actual results my team and I got for our clients. And the best thing of this course is delivered straight to your inbox. So all of this section is about what you're going to get out of it, what more you're going, you're going to learn, and what you can expect. This way, you can jump straight into optimizing your pages. Now, this is where the action comes in, my call to action. If you're ready to leave underperforming landing pages behind, head over to our course page, learn more about the curriculum, and discover how you can 10 times your landing page ROI. Talk soon, Talia. So I end all of this email by saying, if you're ready to learn more, click here and find out, read more about the curriculum, and then see if you want to sign up to this course. And that is the first email where we mention our course. We create this desire, we, create, we capture their attention, we talk about the mistakes they may be making and how they can create high converting landing pages no matter what level they're on, and say, hey, this is the course, deliver the course. Hey, this is my promise, this is what we have. If you want to find out more, jump into this page. First time we mention the course, we're teasing it, we're hooking people into this promise, and that's where we start. Now, in our next video, I'm going to talk about how to use um, countdown timers and all sorts of bonuses to sell the course. So, I'll see you soon.